Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I am doing a what's on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. Recently I got a new phone and you know, every time I want to get a new phone, I only get it because of the camera. And this time around, that was the case because I smashed my old phone. And for everyone that knows me, they know that I don't smash my phone. You went to the Apple store to actually get my phone. The Apple guy was like, what are you going to phone? And I'm like, it's what it is. But yeah, this is basically my new phone. And the whole reason why I actually got a new one is because on my old phone, yeah, it's pretty much smashed. But also my front camera and my back camera stopped working, which I know about the front camera. The back camera, I practically have no idea because even though I had a case on it, for some strange reason, it just stopped working. But you know what? It's now time for a new phone. Here it is. And we are doing a what's on my iPhone. So I really hope you guys enjoy. If you do, smash a big thumbs up, subscribe down below. And without further ado, let's get started so i actually got the iphone 13 pro max in the graphite color and this phone it is such a good phone hang on let me try case so i actually got the iphone 13 pro max in the graphite color and my case is basically the apple phone cases these cases are such good cases and i get everything i want to get a new phone because they're such good cases and this is basically my new phone but also this phone actually feels a lot heavier a lot thicker and a lot bigger than my previous phone even though it has a Pro Max in the previous phone and I got the Pro Max again this actually feels a lot bigger than this phone which is pretty crazy so yeah so basically when you unlock my phone this is the first page that you'll see on top I have like a stack widget which shows a bunch of different things so it shows the weather the maps music tips photos suggestions everything like that and then underneath that I have like my battery widget so it shows the battery of my phone of my Apple watch of my airpods and my airpod case and then only that i have my weather clock messages calendar ways which is a maps app and i only use it if i leave the house late camera photos and a podcast next page this page is full of like apple apps on top i have the maps app which i use more than google and ways basically i use ways if i leave the house late but if i leave the house early i use apple maps because i prefer it more than google and ways wallet notes reminders apple store uh home itunes store tv the watch app calculator news setting facetime basically this page is full of apple apps that i use and don't use and on this page i have the weather widget because you know it's pretty nice to actually know the weather before you leave the house because you have no idea if it's raining if it's sunny if it's snowy windy anything like that because in the uk it's bipolar weather anyway so pretty so next page i have the calendar on top and then whatsapp twitter snapchat facebook instagram house party which is an app that i delete bitmoji tweetbot smarty tiktok twitch netflix itv hub youtube and then next page on top i have the widget where it shows how many hours i've used my phone for and so far i've used my phone for about four hours and 21 minutes which is pretty crazy because i've been awake since seven and I've used my phone ever since I've woken up and the fact that I've used it for 4 hours is pretty crazy so yeah also on the side it shows how many hours I've used each app for so YouTube I use for 42 minutes, Snapchat 30 minutes, TikTok 22 minutes and BBC iPlay is 17 minutes which is um pretty crazy YouTube Studio, BBC iPlay, Disney Plus, all four, Rectum TV and then I have all of my cinema apps, Prime Video and then Capital FM which is the best radio basically it is such a good radio and I hear it every single time when I go to uni and in the morning Shazam, YouTube Music, Stereo which is like a live podcast app which I had last year Spotify, Tubity FM and Just Eat next page on top I have the Google widget so basically if I want to search something and I don't have the app then I can use this and it will take me to the Google page so that's pretty cool Uber Eats, Deliveroo, KFC, McDonald's, Pizza Hut Starbucks, HelloFresh, Nando's, Taco Bell, Cafe Nero and Costa and also on this page I have like a quote which says life is a journey from Allah to Allah which reminds me that this world is temporary and for anyone else that uses my phone will also know that this world is also temporary as well so yeah pretty cool pretty cool quote if you ask me. Next page on top I have my Spotify widget which shows like my recent album listened to and then train pal train line qatar airways uber pay by phone park pass free now camera connect for my camera unfold story check pops up which is basically a photo album basically on this app you choose like a bunch of photos that you want and with those photos you can basically make a photo album for someone's birthday or anniversary anything like that so that's pretty cool 
font tool, photo editor, magic eraser. Basically, these apps I use for my thumbnails and then pretty cool. Next page, I have the widget where it shows like my fitness, so it shows the calories, minutes I like exercise for, and hours I stood for. And you know, that's pretty good for today, so yeah. I know VSEO, CapCut, River Island, Dazcam, that's actually messed up. Like, why is River Island there? Hang on, I'm going to change this because River Island should be right about here. So, yeah, that's right. Amazon, Curry's, Foot Asylum, Next, River Island, ASOS, and Argos. Also, I have the widget which shows me how many hours I slept for the previous night. And one time it was actually 10 hours, which is pretty crazy. But for now, I slept 5 hours and 7 minutes last night, which is um, pretty bad because last night I think I went to bed around about 1 2 a.m., so pretty cool. Next page, I have HM, Hollister, and then I have like my Sky app. Why why have I phone like acting all messed up? Because these apps should not be here, that should be there. And that should also be there as well. So basically I have H&M, Hollister, Boohoo, Zara and the Sky app, Dropbox which is basically an app that I do not recommend because long story short I logged into my account that I didn't log for a long time and I found out that all of my pictures have been deleted from my high school, college, prom, everything like that so you know pretty bad. And then my Kia is basically my car, and then my banking app, Discord, Visualizer, this app is such a good app. Basically, we are currently getting our house redone from top to bottom and this app will allow you to actually see the colour of your day chosen on your wall through this app. So basically, I go into the app, choose the colour and it will allow you to see your, like, your room, what it looked like before you actually paint it and it is such a cool app. So basically, if you guys are like, you know, doing your house up, anything like that, this app is app for you. So yeah, healthcare fitness folder. And then I also have like a folder for my Google stuff because, you know, I have a Google Nest, Google TV, so we need it. Then I also have like a folder for my religious stuff. And then I have like a miscellaneous folder which shows that my UPS, Royal Mail, Covid app, DPD and I'm a celebrity. And then I also have like an educational folder for my uni stuff. And then I also have like a folder for all of my games like Arrow, Mario Run, Harry Potter, Fruit Ninja, Doodle Jump, uh, practical run stuff like that and then I also have like a folder for all of my widgets and these are literally the widgets that I use to actually have the widgets on my phone I used to have like a lot of widgets and now I don't so yeah and then on the bottom I basically have the phone app, uh, mail, safari and I have the music and then the widget for this page is basically a picture of me and my siblings and one of my cousins because why not so yeah but yeah that is basically what's on my phone this phone is such an amazing phone the camera is pretty amazing but i haven't tried it fully yet because it just happened but i am flying out pretty soon so when i fly out i'm pretty much going to test out the camera because it is such a good camera the battery also is pretty amazing because i could basically go a day and a half without actually charging my phone which is pretty crazy and also this phone it feels so much better it in my hand than my previous phone which is pretty good but also pretty crazy so yeah anyway guys that's the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did smash a big thumbs up subscribe down below let me comment down below on what phone do you have do you have an iphone do you have an android and i'll see you all for a brand new video very very soon peace